Hello and welcome to AI Quarterly, our new show that looks at some of the topics and stories around this exciting and disruptive technology. As with our other shows, remember you'll be able to learn more about all of the topics discussed by following the links in the description. To get started, let's take a look at AI in focus, Intel Liftoff's 2024 trend analysis and predictions. The article looks at how in 2023, we witnessed not just the growth in the AI and deep tech sectors, but also an explosion of innovation and disruption. This article cuts through the noise to give you a clear view of what's on the horizon for 2024. It also looks at how Intel Liftoff startups have been significant contributors to the industry's progress over the past year. Read the article to get the big picture in regard to AI, dig into some of the trends, and get informed about some of the Intel Liftoff startups and how they are impacting the industry. Next up, we're going to explore the top AI projects built on Intel Developer Cloud at Georgia Tech's Hacklytics 2024 Hackathon. Georgia Institute of Technology Atlanta hosted the Hacklytics Collegiate Hackathon on February 9th through 11th, 2024. Intel sponsored compute resources for the participants via the Intel Developer Cloud, and at the event, our team educated the attendees about Intel's AI Everywhere initiative, the Intel Student Ambassador Program, Educator Program, and Intel Liftoff Program for AI startups. Read the article to learn more about the winning projects, but before you do that, here are some of the hackathon highlights. Around 1,200 student attendees and AI startups who attended the event learned about Intel's Gen AI resources, AI framework optimizations, AI ML tools and resources, and end-to-end -end AI development software portfolio. Over 390 new users signed up for Intel Developer Cloud, a unified platform to experiment with Intel's optimized software tools on the latest accelerated hardware. Around 280 students attended our interactive workshop where they learned how to leverage Intel Developer Cloud for their hackathon projects. The Intel Liftoff team hosted a meetup in collaboration with Georgia Tech's startup accelerator program called CreateX. Around 100 students learned how to create custom images using a Stable Diffusion Jupyter Notebook on Intel Developer Cloud. Congratulations to Robotic Registers, Easy Deep Learning, and Estate Edge, the first, second, and third prize winners of the hackathon. Read the article to learn more about their projects. For our next topic, I'd like to share the hugging face and Intel driving towards practical, faster, democratized, and ethical AI solutions episode of the Code Together podcast. This episode explores the integration of AI solutions into actual products and the challenges associated with training and inference at scale. The podcast delves into the collaboration between Hugging Face and Intel, specifically focusing on the Bloom's model, an open sourced alternative to GPT-3 and highlights the impressive inference speed achieved with Intel's Gaudi 2 hardware. Listen to the entire podcast to hear more about the broader perspectives of the AI landscape and a discussion about the challenges of closed source models. Check out this episode as well as some of the others in the Code Together series. Moving on, the next time you open wide and say ah, your doctor may be able to detect much more than inflamed tonsils. They may recognize laryngeal cancer, but it won't happen with the doctor peering down your throat with a flashlight. Instead, you'll be stretching that universally recognized sound, ah, for two to three seconds into an app on your phone. Clever artificial intelligence takes over immediately with a medley of Intel-based hardware and software, comparing the quality of your voice against scores of trained data and running the results through a complex algorithm. The results, exceeding 80% accuracy, are returned seconds after you've recorded your voice. Read the article about this marvel of medical technology on the Intel Newsroom to learn more about how Intel has partnered with Far East Tone Telecom to build more accurate AI models to support the app and power diagnostics research. And finally, check out a video by our friend and colleague Jack Erickson. In the video, Jack and Alex talk about text-to-text-to-image generative AI on a CPU. The video shows a generative AI demo running Llama 2 and Stable Diffusion on a single CPU and provides some insight in how the key to getting the most performance from your hardware is to use the right software stack. In this case, it starts with open source PyTorch, which is powered by one API and contains optimizations contributed by Intel. Watch the video and check out the resource links to give everything a try yourself. Before we close out this episode, I wanted to make sure to point you in the direction of the multitude of solutions available to explore on the Intel Artificial Intelligence homepage. From this page, you'll find ways to accelerate innovation, maximize your infrastructure, deploy AI anywhere, and reduce security risks. You'll get access to software resources, learn about Intel AI accelerators, and you'll see how AI is enabling business outcomes. Visit the page to get hardware and software recommendations for AI workloads and learn about AI best practices. 
From success stories to samples, the Artificial Intelligence homepage is ready to help you bring AI everywhere. Check it out. And that's a wrap on AI Quarterly. Remember to like this video and share it with your colleagues and to subscribe to the Intel Software YouTube channel so that you never miss an episode of this series or any of the other great videos that we have coming out. I'll see you next time. Thank you.